going. Should I talk? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. I can't tell you guys just yet. I'm gonna show you guys when we get there the surprise and kind of what I've been hiding from y'all for a very long time because this has been a huge work in progress. So we're taking Devin's truck and I'm with Jamie, my sister Jamie, and I'll show you guys everything you need to know when we get to the location. A few moments later. Okay, <laughs> we've made it to the destination and if you guys have been following me for a very long time, you guys know that I had worked coffee for probably a total of seven years. Um, and then recently, a couple years ago, I quit my coffee stand job just to pursue social media and I ended up feeling like I love social media and I still am going to continue doing that, but I also needed something else. and. How do I say it? <laughs> and um, <clears throat> over the whole entire summer, mind you right now it is mid-November, the whole entire summer I had been looking for a coffee stand here in Spokane. If you guys aren't familiar with coffee stands, they're little tiny like house, little tiny like shed, sheds? What yeah. would you say? It's just like a tiny little coffee stand. Like a miniature Starbucks. Like a miniature Starbucks where cars drive through the window on each side. I know it's super popular here on the west side of the United States, like Oregon, Idaho, Washington, but in a lot of other places they don't have coffee stands like that. They just have Starbucks, so it's super popular. And you guys, I bought my own coffee stand um, as of like a few days ago, and it took the whole summer for it to go through. So we just pulled up to my stand. You can kind of show it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's just the back door, but. We're here, um, the previous owner just got out yesterday, so Jamie and I have a lot to do with kind of doing just a little makeover in the inside, probably on the outside too, but it's super cold out, so I don't know how much we can do on the outside, like paint and stuff. But we're gonna go in and I'm gonna take you guys on a tour of the stand, and I'm so excited um, <clears throat> that I own a coffee stand now. And this is gonna be a huge process with running it and getting it up to par and you know, having it be my own stand. So, without further ado, let's go inside. Okay, first things first, you guys, is they still have now open signs on the outside of the building, so we need to figure out how to get these off so people aren't pulling through, like, through the stand when um, we're in there working and trying to get things set up, because it's not open right now. I don't even know if we can reach that, though. Oh, and are you going to tell them that it used to be a lingerie stand? Yeah, so here in Washington, it's super popular to um, have lingerie coffee. So people will serve coffee to you in lingerie. And I'm not going to have it be that kind of stand, but it was previously one of those stands. So there's pictures everywhere, like naked girls. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go over there and open up that door and just try to stand and get it. Okay. And like, yank it down. I don't, no, I don't think you're no close way. enough. I need a ladder, I think. Uh, huh. Unless you stood on the roof of the truck. That's way too high. I'm gonna have to get Devin over here for that. Yeah. With the ladder. All right, I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour. Come on in. So, these stands are really small, and this stand is super old. I think it was built in 90, in 90 actually, I think, 1990. So it's super old, but anyways, you walk into the stand, and we have to do a lot of cleaning, but there's a ton of fridges shelving as of recently they had to add in a bathroom to the stand and there's not a lot of space so we have the world's smallest <laughs> bathroom in here the sink is so cute it's so low. it's like as big as my hand <laughs> this is an addition we're standing in so we come down the step and this is the main coffee area which you guys we have a lot of painting to do it's really crusty like it needs to be up to my specs and it's not so follow me this way we got coffee machine or like the grinder. We have the coffee machine. Eventually I'll update this and get a newer one, but for now I just want to get the business up and running. Um, our windows where we say hello to people. So if you come and see me. <laughs> <laughs> These are really high. 
Is are your guys' that high? No, ours are like down here. Yeah, this is like a really high. But uh, yeah, there's and there's like cameras everywhere. Yeah, cameras everywhere. And let me kind of show you the outside. By the way, my mom doesn't. So I've kept this a secret from my whole entire family, just because I didn't want to tell anybody until this was set in stone, just so things didn't fall through. And I told everybody. So, anyways, my mom has no idea. I just texted her the address and I told her to meet me here at 11. So she's on her way and she has no idea about the stand. So. So she's gonna be here any minute and I'm gonna surprise her. I wanna show you guys the outside too. The outside of the stand also needs a lot of work. It needs paint. I think eventually I'm gonna do gray and black on the outside with a black roof. But for now, this is what the outside looks like. Um, signing, we gotta get that changed. And you guys, guess what I'm naming this? It has to do with pretty much everything Devin and I do car related. So it's going to be called Boosted Coffee Co. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Outside of the stand. What do you think? I think it has a lot of potential. Yeah. It's just really crusty right now. It is. We need to get in there and redo a lot of things. And by the way, Jamie's also going to be my employee. My first employee. So I'm also trying to hire my other sister. And I'm excited, but... Anyways, you guys, Jamie and I are gonna go over some stuff we need to go get at the store for this stand, and then I'll pick this back up when my mom shows up. Okay, my mom showed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go out there. She's probably confused. <laughs> Follow me. Oh my gosh. Your yes, I just bought it. You did? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can I go through? Come inside. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Mom, why do you have that stupid hat on her? She doesn't. Wow, <laughs> Bobby. I know. Are you so excited? I'm so excited. It needs a lot of work. It's really old. Um, but oh my gosh, it's got a bathroom and everything. It's got a bathroom. It's officially mine, it like is? two days ago. Yeah. Wow. I know, I'm so excited. I'm so excited <laughs> for you. Thanks, Mom. Did you kind of have an idea? I kind of did. Yeah. Well, I gave it away. <laughs> you, you know the address. I'm like, you can look either it it's a house or it's a coffee stand. Did you know before that at all? No. Okay, I tried to keep it a secret because it took so long for it to go through. Really? Yeah. How like, come? I, Mom, I've been trying to get the stand since probably July. Really? Yeah, just paperwork and the previous owner um, was like the, it's a lingerie stand before this. A what? Lingerie stand. Oh, like so, a oh stand. it was? Okay, yeah. I surprised my mom and obviously she was super excited. But we're taking a little lunch break here at Market Street Pizza here in Spokane. It's one of the best pizza places in Spokane. So let's go eat and then we have a lot of work to do. We're gonna do a slight intermission. I have to share this with you guys. So I have shared my Teddy Blake purses on my channel for many years now and I just wanted to let you guys know starting November 12th, which was a few days ago, they are having sales up to 80% off let me repeat that again, 80% off. This purse I've owned literally for over a year and it still looks brand spanking new. It is by far my favorite Teddy Blake purse that I've ever gotten. They have all different styles on their website. So if you don't like this style, they have amazing, amazing handbags. This one looks brand new, you guys. And I'm so rough with my purses, going to the shop every day, working on cars with Devin and like, I'm rough with them and this thing still looks brand new. The link is down below in my description box and then you can also use this code TBBOBBY30 for an extra $30 off. I'm not even kidding when I say this is the perfect Christmas gift for your wife or for your girlfriend. I would absolutely die if Devin got me a purse for Christmas. So if you guys end up getting this for somebody you love for the birthday or whatever, send it to me in my DMs. I wanna see what kind of purses you guys like and what what's going out there and what you guys are buying. But anyways, let's get back into the video. Next place we're gonna go is Costco because we need cleaning supplies. Um, paper towels and stuff like that just to get started on the stand and to get it 
Mm, up to par. Jamie and I have been cleaning this place out so it looks a little bit different. And then Haley and Gemma are here. Hi now, Gem. Hi, sweetie. And I'm just gonna put this camera on a time lapse and we're gonna take all the shelving down and kind of just clear some more stuff out so we can get ready to paint. Okay, so we got Haley peeling some paint. <laughs> Jamie is, Jamie, what are you doing? Um, I'm taking off outlet covers so that we can paint tomorrow. Okay, and then I got this one shelf off. I gotta get this shelf off. Cameron, uh, Devin's brother is coming here soon, so I might just have him do that. He's probably a lot faster at it than I am, but we're getting there. Aren't we, Jamie? Yes. for tonight we got pretty far you guys saw the stand this morning it was all put together and this is what it looks like right now so it's very bare we took everything off the walls put pretty much all all of the stuff back here i think tonight jamie and i are gonna go to home depot try to pick out a paint color like i said we're gonna go with light gray maybe some cameron came here and there's some peeling going on with the paint but i think we're gonna put trim up here so we can just pretty much cover all this peeling paint up if I wanted to so we're gonna look at that too so I'll see you guys at Home Depot what's up you guys it is the next day and I am once again in Devin's truck and sorry I'm reversing Give me one sec. No, we are headed back to the coffee stand and last night I ended up going by Home Depot and getting some different paint swatches so we're gonna go to the stand today and figure out which color I want to go with so these are all just little samples that I'm gonna try out we have like a darker more warm gray and then we have a light gray and then we have like a medium gray so i'm thinking i'm gonna like the light one but i'm gonna find a wall area in here and just paint it on and see which one i like i have to finish like prepping this for paint i got to clip these zip ties off so um i can clean everything so there's still a ton of stuff to be done and it's just me today, which is fine, but it's gonna take a little bit longer than normal to get this started. So without further ado, let's get this thing ready to paint. I did all the swatches and to be completely honest, I'm not a huge fan of any of them. I just think for these, they're a little too blue looking. Too blue, too blue. This one I like. It's more of like a warm gray. I just think I wanna go a little bit lighter than that. That might be a little too dark for the whole entire stand. So I think I might have to go back to Home Depot and get another sample because yeah, these are just a little bit too dark in my opinion. That's okay, I'm still gonna just prep out the place, um, get it ready for paint, and then I can go back to the Home Depot and get some more colors later tonight.
now I'm trying to do is get all the wiring off the walls. So as you can see, there's like a lot of wiring on the top and you guys it is stapled extremely close to the wire so it's kind of difficult for me to clip the staple without clipping the wire so it's taking kind of a while but i got the majority of this stuff off of the wall i need to clean all that brown stuff off so i can paint but yeah, I need to get the rest of that wiring down. It's gonna be a pain to do this wall, you guys, because look at all this stuff back here. I don't even know where to start with everything. So that's gonna be fun. I'm doing the easiest wall first, and then also there's a bunch of wiring on this wall too, so we will have to, I guess, figure that out when the time comes, but for now, I'm gonna get the rest of this white wiring off the wall. next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off the wall so there's a lot of cleaning to do it's probably gonna take me a while just to do this one wall but Devin is on his way over to fill some holes in the wall just really little ones so I got this patch stuff and he's just gonna fix like some holes like that I do want to let you guys know that this stand is not going to be 100% perfect. We are not going for perfection on the inside of the stand. We're just trying to give it like a little facelift. I, I thought I would clarify that a little bit, but we did patch the holes. Um, we're going to be putting trim all around the window seals and everything like that. Lots of holes are filled, which is very nice. Tomorrow, I think my mom and I are going to start painting. With that being said, I'm gonna clean the rest of the walls and then I'm gonna to go to Home Depot again and try to pick out some more colors to paint the wall because these ones, after they dried, they're still like way too dark. We're wrapping up the day. It has been a long day. I feel like I'm not getting very much done. I feel like I just leave when it gets dark out. I feel like this process has moved very slow, but we're getting there, you guys. I'm kinda of sad we didn't get to pick out the paint today. I'm actually gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow and pick out the color tomorrow because I don't have time today, it's getting dark. I need to go to Devin's shop and then I also need to go to the gym still. I just wanted to update you on what we got done. I feel so weird because I'm not a like a remodel vlogger, but this is just me sharing, I guess, what's going on. And then I'm also gonna uh, tape everything off tomorrow and I'm gonna record it all, but it's actually gonna be in the next video because I feel like this one is getting a little bit long. Devin also came by and he took off the old signing. So it's just a blank sign right now, which is amazing because on the old one, it said now open and people kept on pulling up. And I'm so happy I could share this with you finally because it's been such a long process and it's been super hard to keep from everybody. When I announced this on Instagram, Everybody was so supportive and so happy for me and it just reminds me like how amazing Everybody is like I am so blessed to have followers Like you guys so thank you for being here and supporting me because I truly could not I couldn't have done it without you guys supporting me through Alvinware through my personal exclusive website through watching my YouTube videos like Every single thing you guys do supporting me has gotten me here and guys, I'm gonna take it far. Like, we're not stopping here. So, it's gonna be amazing. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.